Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am pumped to give you a very informative questions I used to get on the ship all the time, but then also questions I get just in life. This video is all about quick changes, my top tips for getting yourself through quick changes, no matter how quick they are. You can do it, you can do it. I have the steps, I know how to do it. I've done it a thousand times before, so I got you, I got you. If you wanna hear all the top tips on how to do, how to successfully do a quick change in a show, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, keep watching, follow me on Instagram, and let's do this. Look, these are in no particular order. These are just like the top things that I really think you need to know about a quick change. These could go in different orders for different people of what they think is the most important. I've lived this. I have done countless quick changes and honestly, I'm really good at quick changes. It's one of those things that like in high school, I felt like I was like the eyelash queen. Like I could put on a fake eyelash like nobody's business. But now in my life, like I am the quick change queen. I think I'm really great at it. Out of all of the quick changes I had on cruise ships, and I had, I'm gonna try to do the math, Emily do the math, and I will put the, put them here. And um, that would include like, not just like a piece I was taking off, but like full on changes, like shoes, um, tops, bottoms, jewelry, hair pieces. Like this is the number that I would generally have to do per show and double that per night. So yeah, so I, I am one that knows much about quick changes. When I first started doing quick changes, from my experience, it just kind of felt like nobody was giving advice, just expected it to happen. Like this is like in high school, like when I was doing, the, my biggest first quick change I think I ever had that really was daunting. It's like a horror film that I'm reliving in my brain was that bell getting into that ball gown at the end of the show like when Belle reappears in the in the yellow dress I had such a hard time and my director I will drag him for filth I, he did not give me any time to practice that quick change it was huge I had to get out I remember I had, I had to get out of a cloak I had to get out of a dress I had to change shoes maybe I didn't have to change shoes I feel like I had to change shoes I had to change hair pieces put on a hoop skirt I had to put on a gigantic skirt I had to put on a top on top of it I put I had to put on gloves and it was huge and it was daunting and I was in high school and I was young and I was scared and I didn't get any help except my wonderful people who were in costumes we kind of developed a plan together and we figured it out on our own a lot of the times it is on your own but if I had had just a little bit of this kind of advice you know maybe I wouldn't have had like one of my first panic attacks in life I don't know just saying would have been nice educational theater to give a little education on something like that. So I don't want you to feel like that. So I'm gonna help you out now. I'm gonna give you my tips and tricks on how to get that done. Any quick change is possible. They seem really, really daunting, but with the right skills and the right presets and the right um, patience and practice, it is possible. First and foremost, I need you to breathe. When you find out that your quick change is gonna be like, and it happens a lot of the time, especially on Broadway, and especially in just so many shows. I think that bell change, I remember calculating, it was like under a minute and a half. And for me at the time, I was like, oh my God, how am I gonna do that? Now I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so much time. I've done so many changes, but they're literally like 15 seconds. So what I need you to do is I need you to breathe. Just breathe, breathe through it. Because if you don't breathe, you're gonna panic. And when you panic, the change won't go well. You're in the middle of a costume change and you have someone changing you and you're hearing the music and it's not going well and you start to panic, that's not gonna help you. Panicking is literally like the opposite of helping you. It only makes you feel like a jerk later because panicking usually, if you're getting help, panic only makes you lash out at the people trying to help you. So just breathe because whether or not you make it on stage or not, not the end of the world, it sucks, but you'll figure it out. If it's like a solo, you can usually start singing from the wings. I've had to do that many a time. You think on your feet really quickly. Um, sometimes you'll enter the stage with like a witty line saying like what held you up or, you know, you kind of find your ways to cover it up. People on stage are usually really quick to cover up something. A huge malfunction happens, you know, either you'll like reblock really, really quick. You'll just kind of like see where the numbers are and even out the space. You know, obviously, you always want to make it on stage but if something happens like mistakes happen life happens zippers break buttons fall off it happens so all you can do is just breathe through it and um, and work with what you got next tip practice makes perfect if you feel like a quick change for you like isn't going quick enough isn't up to speed is is being fumbled around like the, if you have someone that's like helping you with like buttons and zips 
or like fringes and stuff like that if you feel like it's not going well like on ships we would have um, we would have volunteers less the backstage boys that we always had they were from the engine room like we had people that were literally working 14 hour days and then they would also help us at night during our shows when they really wanted to be in bed I'm sure and they would help us during the shows so a lot of times it's like you always like I would always give my my guy a high five especially if it went well you know in a quick way to communicate that we did a great job and that he did a really great job and that he really helped me get on stage is like a high five or like a, li like a little dance like that that was something that always communicated like we're on the same page everything's good great job but if you feel like something's really not right or you get someone new who's hasn't seen your costume before or something changes in your costume you have a new zipper you have a new button like those little things in the way that the cog of the machine of a quick change for someone who's helping you works like that completely changes things up for them as well so you have to be cognizant of the fact that any little change that happens could completely throw off the person that's helping you so make sure that you keep those people informed as much as possible you might feel like a squeaky wheel you might feel annoying you might feel like oh it's really not that big of a deal if you feel like you need to explain every single step of it and you need to go over it over and over again as long as you're polite kind and and you know you reassure them that it's like more for you like that you're like oh it's I just would feel more comfortable if we ran it again and have patience because Practice and patience takes perfect that goes in with breathing. You're part of a cog in the machine Especially if you're on cruise ships like these people have helped with these changes so often before and you're just kind of slipping into the part and slipping into the costume and I think that happens on Broadway as well I would assume like with changers and dressers on Broadway like these are some Broadway dressers that I follow on Instagram And I follow their journey and like, you know, you see these quick change videos of people on Broadway and you're like wow like if one thing is off like that's that's three other people that are affected by it so practice makes perfect honestly if one thing feels weird you can talk to your people and be like hey what was that was that my fault was was there a miscommunication about something is the costume like have an issue do we need a repair like what are you feeling so if you just stay in communication with your group that's helping you in the quick change you'll get it down pat this is a great segue into number three so this part is more about you not every quick change you're gonna have help on right so many of my quick changes I did by myself just because that's the way the cookie crumbled it's possible for me to do them on my own so I'm going to do them on my own and also there's no other choice there's no one there to help you so you have to do it on your own so the way to which to prep for your own quick changes is to really like set your costumes up to, for success preset the crap out of them the way I do it and I've showed it before you want to lay out your costumes in such a way that you have the last of your costumes that you wear are going to be on the bottom and then like kind of work backwards from the show and put you know the other costumes on top you want to always make sure that they're kind of like open in such a way that all you have to do is grab them so you have two availabilities to grab them or to throw it over you know you want to make sure that it's prepped in such a way that you can grab it really really quick and that it's just gonna like unfold in such a way that you can hop into your pants into your shorts everything's unzipped or unzipped to a point that you can get in it and it's a quick zip up and a hook and always preset things the same I would get onto cruise ships and people would tell me how to preset my costumes for the changes that I would be doing myself and I would usually like nod and like especially if it was a supervisor telling me like this is how you have to preset your stuff I would nod and I would go okay 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 but then when it came down to it like it's me doing the show it's me doing the change if that if that particular way doesn't work I'm not gonna do it that way and if it doesn't affect anybody else if it's just me doing the chain then it's fine you set your costume in such a way that's gonna set you up for success shoes I would usually like for like go-go boots I would unzip them and have them completely opened up on the ground so all I have to do is slip my feet in because if, for me it was more important I'll get into this more later and what priorities are but like for me it'd be more important to have the shoes on rather than have them zipped up so if you have them if you have everything open and something happens whether whether you trip whether someone else needs help like die your need of help help or whether anything happens in such a way where it throws you off of your game and that five seconds can really like determine like success or failure in a change for real I think it's wise to always set your things up the same way every time it's it's muscle memory you don't even need to look you don't even need to think you just know where everything is so that when something isn't there you can have flames go around your face if you need to literally put down multiple pairs of shoes because you don't have time to take this pair to the other side and bring it back if you're the only one doing it um, do that if you've got multiple pairs of shoes preset water like that's another preset that I think and a towel those are really important presets to have but definitely like put water in 
and as many places as you need because water during a show, especially ones with quick changes where they are stressful, uh, it's good to have water to kind of like like zen you out and also make sure that things are preset in a way that doesn't like hinder anybody else's quick change just be cognizant of that oh this would always bug me so much on ships and just in life it really it really annoys me when you're done changing out of your costume put it in a basket put it underneath put it out of the way so nobody's slipping on your crap i hate that when you're like I, I just don't like it when people aren't cognizant of others around especially if you're in like a very quick show it would just annoy me it's just like a pet peeve and it's like don't do that that's rude you want to make sure that you can underdress as much costumes as you can if you know you've got a crazy change coming up and you have room to put something on underneath and it's not gonna be seen put that on do yourself a favor underdress as much as possible put elastics in your shoes if you've got a lot of the times on ships guys and girls depending on the shoes we would put elastic like black or white elastic in the shoelaces because it's so much easier to just slip on a shoe and tighten it like tie the elastic than it would be to do like like a traditional shoelace. Number five, I think this is number five or whatever number this is, know your priorities. This one's super important. Always wanna make sure that you are gonna be on stage, number one, like covering up all the bits that you want to be covered up. Make sure that you're safe. For guys, like leave your, what are these called? Your cufflinks to the, like, to the last minute. You know, those are little details. Leave jewelry that you might have to put on for the last minute, like, cause if that, if, unless it's like vital to your character or vital to the dance or vital to a scene, leave those little minute details until the last minute. Make sure you have them. Make sure you have them on you. But if, if you're, if that bracelet, if you can't get that necklace on for whatever reason, don't worry about it. Those are minute details. You want to make sure that your boobs are covered. You want to make sure that your hoo-ha's covered. You want to make sure your butt's covered if it's meant to be covered. You want to make sure your toes are covered. You want to make sure all the things that are meant to be covered are covered. I think it's um, probably more important for a hook to be done than a zip. Because for me, I know personally, if a hook comes undone, the whole thing comes undone. Because because I think zips can be, if, especially if you have an old zipper in an older costume, I think zippers are easier to come down and to fall off. Uh, so, but if you've got that hook, it's not going anywhere. Also for like costumes with fringe, like sometimes backstage, like I said earlier, we would have backstage boys help us for costumes that had fringe a lot of the time because we, you kind of, you just can't see, you can't see like when the fringe is in the way. So I would always say to hook it first, and if something's happening with the fringe, most likely you won't see. The opening and if you do whatever it's most important to get things on and then figure out the details like on my last ship uh, I did have this crazy change where I needed to basically had to go from barefoot to like a barefoot with a big skirt and a top and a headpiece um, I had to get out of that quickly and put on you know I would have to change into shoes for character shoes for me I've Actually, can I show? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna show. I would have a change, and I think th this would kind of be sometimes my biggest worry. These are my salsa shoes slash character shoes, and and when you wear your shoes in a little bit, and some people might go, oh my god, don't do this, especially to your Laducas. Well, these aren't Laducas, and I probably would do this to my Laducas. So these ones were lucky enough to have like an elastic on them, so if this didn't get done, like the main leather one didn't get done, at least I had a little bit of support. I would try to wear my shoes in just enough so that like I could slip my foot in and like basically try to put on the shoe without having to completely undo this. What would give me so much anxiety if my shoe was completely undone like this on a stage, mm -mm. probably have it like this. Probably have it where it's just, just like attached so that I'd have it on, I'd be secure, my foot would be in it, and then I'd run to the side of the stage and adjust there. I would adjust my hair, I would take a sip of water, I would adjust the shoes so that they're at the right hole and the right fit, because if that's the last thing that needs to get done, at least I know my shoe is securely on my foot. But you know what, if it was a high, if my next number was like a high dance intensity and that was more important to get the shoes buckled, then I would get the shoes buckled first before maybe getting the dress on. It all depends on you and what you need for your quick change. Next one I have, start to get changed out of the costume that you need to get out of for your quick change. So like start getting changed as soon as possible. The minute you kind of are out of view of the audience, Start disrobing, hun. Drop that character. Be in show mode. Go. There was this one change that I had, which was so ungodly quick. It was insane. I had to run down, and I was sprinting. I had 
I ran down into the theater, ran around a corner, and literally threw a gigantic ball gown on and a gigantic skirt that like opened up to the heavens around me, but had all these like weird hooks in it. And it was set in a very specific way that if it like got messed up, literally the change didn't happen. And those were my presets, so make sure you also check those presets. Check them before. Check them as often as you need to. Have a buddy check them. Help each other. Check them. Um, I would run and I would put the skirt on. I had like two people helping. One person had a light. It was probably the most like Broadway moment I felt like I had so much help in this change because the change literally couldn't happen and I knew exactly what I needed to do and they knew exactly what they needed to do for success and then I would walk out and pretend like the change didn't even happen. Like that's insane. But I knew as soon as I was out of view of the audience, it was a sprint. And if people were my way and they saw me, like that was the, their own show, I guess. But you run, you're in character and then you're like, boom, 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 go, 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 go. Like you just have to like, you have to drop your ego and make it look like the change either if it went well or if it didn't go well or if you've had to start singing in the back because the change is not going well you enter as if nothing unplanned has occurred unless you're really good at improv and you can think of something on the spot which i have done in the past really play it off like everything was deliberate and you hit your spot as soon as you hit your spot and just do it you have to get the shit done and the last and final thing i have to say is to help each other i think it actually goes along with what i said earlier in this whole patience practice makes perfect Remember I said that you are a cog in the machine, so you need to work well with others. If you are in your dressing room and it's like you've got a bunch of people have changes, work it out so you can help each other. I hate it. I hate it when people don't help each other in a change, especially when they have time. If they don't need help, fine. You don't, you don't have to be the hero. You don't have to help everybody. But if you sense your friends or your castmates struggling and you have time, help them help them. We I, we developed a really good system on my last ship of I just had ch I had time, my number, and I knew that everybody was coming off of like a big dance number. So I would wait and I would unzip, 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 and then they would like get changed into things and I'd zip up and I'd hook and I'd zip up and I'd hook. I'd give them a tap on the shoulder or like a thumbs up saying that they were okay. But just as long as you know that you're doing your best to help your friends and to help your castmates, it's just going to create a better show. It's going to create a better environment. So help each other. The show that I did the mod 60s makeup for, we had this crazy, crazy quick change. Where literally we like barely changed at all during the show, and then this last one was like insanely quick. Where we like created a chain where we like zipped each other up. You always help the same person. If something else is going wrong, someone else is there. Like help each other. Just help each other. Just help each other. Just help each other. So friends, that's it. That's it. Those are all those tips that I really wish that someone had told me the first time I knew I was gonna have a crazy quick change. I was inspired to do this video because I saw Leslie Kreitzer's um, quick change video. Where did she, she, well she put it on her Instagram. Oh, it was on Playbill. She put it on Playbill of her crazy quick change when she goes from Delia to Miss Argentina and she completely changes her makeup and her costume and her wig. And it's really, I think, and she does that multiple times in the show. I think that's really, really impressive. I think that also kind of goes along with the Fiona change from when she's an ogre to when she's like not an ogre. Quick changes also happen on stage like in Cinderella. But yeah, quick changes are crazy and they're really thrilling when you get them right, but they can be so terrifying when they're just not going right. So I really wish that I had gotten all this information when I was younger and when I first started doing theater because I probably would have chilled out a lot more. Um, I do understand that experience helps you learn, but it would have been nice, like I said at the beginning, to just have a little bit more information so that I wasn't having full-on panic attacks at age 15. I don't think panic attacks are necessary at that time of your life if you don't need to have them. So I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the little clips of my quick changes. I tried to film as many as I could on my last contract, but um, it was it was hard to get them, honestly, So because a lot of times my quick changes happen in the dark. You know how I've said, like, I think people are sadistic and crazy for thinking that, like, auditions are really fun? That's how probably people probably think of me thinking um, that quick changes are really fun. I don't know, I think when you get them, like it's just like a moment of like, oh yeah! So with these tips, you got it. You can do it, anything's possible, and if anything, you'll realize that you're gonna get quicker and quicker and quicker and quicker. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Tell me down below, what was your craziest quick change that you have? Do you like know how long it was? Like what, what was your craziest quick change? I wanna know, because that's really fun. But if you set yourself up for success, the chances of it going wrong are much, much less. <gasps> Rhyme! 
Lin-Manuel. So friends, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Here are some videos of cruise ship life and here are some videos of theater life. I'm gonna put them both here so if you need advice, if you need experience, if you need to know what kinds of things are about, that's what will be here. I'll see you over there. Go check them out. Don't forget to also follow me on Instagram. For some reason, I always forget to tell you that. 